Well, everybody, people have been telling me to watch this for like a week now. Like a little over a week, people have been telling me to watch this video. Apparently, Keffel's debated someone named Yankee Tanky. I only know this guy is like a really screamy dude. I know he's a tanky. I know he's like a Marxist Leninist psychopath. Isn't he like super loud and screamy? Apparently, this debate gets really wild. He starts yelling. I don't know anything about it other than that. I have not seen this yet. But people have been telling me I should watch it on stream. So I think it's time that we did. Vosh debated him. I haven't seen that. I just know that he's like screamy. I've seen him very screamy with somebody. I think he debated Dylan and I saw that. I think I've seen him debate Dylan. And he was like screaming at Dylan maybe. Yeah, I think it was. I think I saw his debate with Dylan. And like Dylan blew him the fuck out and then he started screaming. Another screamy man. Yeah, Dylan's gotten... For, if I had a nickel for the amount of time Dylan has debated a screamy tanky, I would have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. He was in Moppin's cult and the Vosh debate was hilarious. We should watch the Vosh debate at some point, but apparently this debate with Keffels was insane. So let's go ahead and give it a watch because I'm very curious to see how awesome it is. Nano or Naomi Chance, thank you for the $2 uh, donation. I appreciate that. Thanks for the super chat. Much love from the LGBT CIA. Real. Real and true and not false. Warning. This video contains heavy use of transphobic oh, and homophobic slurs. I, 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 what powers do I have? I bring up Dylan debating Yankee Tanky and all of a sudden we hear Dylan's voice. I, I swear this is not a pre-watch, guys. I just have abilities that I don't fully understand yet, I, I guess. Fuck. Tropes. Dead naming and other various forms of bigotry that may be unsettling for some audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Stop kicking it out to me, you fucking cuck! What? Let me tell you what the fucking facts are, you fucking stupid. I can't say that. Goddamn fucking Twitch TOS. Fucking porn adults. It's obvious they're porn adults. How? You're pretending to be a fucking woman. Focusing. Right? I've been asking That's you to explain focused. one concept. You're really not focusing. Just one you're Marxist really concept. On. Well, I'm and you can't explain you. it. Tankies, when you get them upset and they accidentally let slip that they're just fascists but with the communist aesthetic you know you don't know what it means so you keep pivoting you don't believe in marxist theory you don't believe in leninist theory you've shit on mao you've shit on xi jinping i've met i have met people who have died who people who have dead family members who fought in actual revolutions and you are pitiful you know nothing about what you're talking about and you're a fucking larper the people that i know who have put their life on the lines in the name of revolution would think that you're a fucking pathetic loser Shut the fuck up, porn idol. How? Now, explain. Shut the fuck up, the fucking troon. Can you explain now, to me why you can't have a conversation about Chinese politics without devolving into transgender able, slurs? Uh, shutting the fuck up when I'm talking to you. I'm okay, so I muted him again because he can't have this conversation like a grown-up without calling me slurs, which, you know, I haven't actually insulted him in any way like that. This is really a behavioral issue on his part and probably why he's been banned from all these organizations. Yeah, no shit. Holy fuck. Did Yankee Tanky get fatter? Let me fatter? introduce our guest for the day. Yankee Tanky. Hello. Hello. We put this off for a long time, but it's great to finally talk to you. What is it about tankies and, like, being mentally unstable to the extent of getting them to scream like this if you get them upset? Like, it's it like you got Haas who will just start screaming... I'm pretty sure that uh, Jackson Hinkle does it. This guy does it. Like, why do they go fully, like, pedal to the metal, screamy schizo when you get them upset? Like, Bada Banata? Like, is there something about, like, this particular type of violent mental illness that attracts tankies or something? I, 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 do, I don't know. Or is it the other way around? It's great to actually be in a debate with you. Uh, I think it's about time, considering, you know, it's been, what, several months since my debate with, like, Dylan Burns, the first debate with Dylan Burns. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's when I uh, initially challenged you, and I feel like you've been dodging me since then. Yeah, I watched your Vosh debate, and you kind of kicked his fucking ass, and I've been, like, scared to, like, I don't know, man. Lo lo lovely sarcasm, but I, I know you don't feel that way. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, but Yankee Tanky sounds like 
there's this t- there's this YouTube shorts guy that I watch that does this running skit of like redditor does thing in real life and this guy's voice and mannerisms sound identical to the redditor character that that YouTube shorts guy does <laughs> like literal identical voice and mannerisms sure <laughs> is Keffels a good person yeah Keffels is great she's pog uh, 100% positive. I know she what- did turn my FF14 character into a cat boy, though, so that worth considering that. What side you're on, Keffels? What side am I on? Uh, you would definitely be on the side of the LGBTQ CIA agenda. What is the LGBTQ CIA agenda? Okay. Uh, well, it's just part of the many fa- uh, factions of a Malthusian plot to decrease the population. Okay. That's true. It is true. Now, I imagine you're going to attempt to brandish me as some sort of insane uh, person that shouldn't be taken seriously, correct? I mostly just want to talk. I figured that's like the best way to get down to it, right? Like, instead of doing a debate, doing a dialectic, we both put our ideas forward and we try to come out with a synthesis and with the best... Just so you know, he says the LGBTQ CIA agenda like a thousand times. That's good to know. Best idea, based on what we both know. Yeah, I know that you used to be part of the Communist Party, and you know all the all the linguistics, if you will, uh, to uh, sound like you know what you're talking about for sure. I mean, yeah, I've I've done a little reading. I've read my Lenin, Stalin, Mao. You know. Right, right. You've you've read some, uh, but do you truly understand it if you have already eject- rejected Marxist-Leninist principles? Well, Doubtful. why don't you ask me a question then? I'll see. If this guy's where just we got the redditor gene, I think. Okay. How do you feel about uh, China? How do I feel about China? Okay, this guy. I need to show you the redditor like fucking. I need to show you what I'm referencing so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about, and I need to play that clip again. Uh, okay, th- thanks for the autoplay, YouTube. Average Redditor goes to dry cleaning, okay? I need you to let this person's voice and mannerisms for this skit burn into your mind, okay? Hi, sir. What a very beautiful and unique coat. Would you like us to clean that for you today? No, I was actually planning on stripping naked and having you wash the clothes I'm already wearing. Huh, yeah, we certainly wouldn't want that. So we want this dry clean today? Dry clean? Yeah, because it's a nice coat. I didn't think you would want it laundered. I don't want either option. I would like that coat to be washed properly with the chemical tetrachloroethylene. Right, yeah, that's dry cleaning. How could that be dry cleaning when tetrachloroethylene is a liquid? Last time I checked, liquids are wet, they're not dry. Yeah, you're right, but you know, it's just an industry term, it's been around forever, it means the exact okay, same thing, Okay, well it's thing, apparent so. that the participants of this industry do not have modicum understanding of basic chemistry. You know what, sir, I think it's best you go someplace else. Not only are you being incredibly condescending, but there's a putrid smell coming off this jacket, and frankly, I don't want to risk contaminating one of my machines. Hi, sir. Okay, now I want you to listen to uh, this clip again, okay? I mean, yeah, I've I've done a little reading. I've read my Lenin, Stalin, Mao, you know? Right, right. You've you've read some. uh, But do you truly understand it if you have already rejected Marxist-Leninist principles? Doubtful. Why don't you ask? Yeah, yeah, now you see it? Now you see it. Now you know what I'm talking about. Yep. 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 This guy's got Redditor brain deep. This guy's got Redditor brain to the fucking core. His spinal cord has been infected. His lizard brain has blackened from Redditor brain. Ask me a question and I'll see where we both stand on something. Okay. How do you feel about uh, China? How do I feel about China? You'll never be able to unhear it now. Mm-hmm. I feel that China went through a period of capitalist restoration after the Cultural Revolution. Mao himself said that China was going down a capitalist path and he tried to launch the Cultural Revolution in order to this keep China a on a path of socialist construction. 
it failed Deng Xiaoping rose to power. And now we see China what it is today, which is the worst aspects of both, of both the capitalist market economy and authoritarian How dare governance. you do this to me? I'm sorry, pal. So you think that China <laughs> lifting millions runners, of people okay. out of poverty is a negative thing? What does that have to do with socialist economics, though? They did that under a capitalist market economy. It has everything to do with economy. socialist economics. Exactly. It has everything to do with socialist so, economics. I think it's so awesome. It, I think it's awesome that millions of people have been lifted out of poverty because socialism in China, unlike the Soviet Union, was capable of actually reforming their system internally uh, instead of internally collapsing. Right, but they did that by capitalism. They didn't do that they by They did it by socialism. They expanded production. No, 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 they didn't. They have a state capitalist economy. That That's why there's the amount of millionaires in China is growing more than any other country in the world and why half of the world's concrete how much is it it's over half of the world's concrete is currently being used in china for construction like half the world's brick half the world's concrete like half the, like a 40 percent of the world's steel is being consumed by china for construction that's uh that's those are massive corporations a lot of them actually being facilities that are outsourced from american corporations european corporations coal and mineral wealth too yeah they are like extremely capitalist not to mention the uh like the quality of living the average citizen in china is criminally low for the amount of wealth and um uh uh like power the country has in the world stage it, they've got a worse problem with like citizen poverty and quality of life than we do here in america and w it's pretty bad here in america it's also pretty bad in china and it's because it's capitalist it's just the state has more control which means a lot of the time money is being allocated into places that are surprisingly less good for the consumers because for all of like freeish market capitalism's faults it does tend to Ideally, people have money and they're buying things, you know? That might not necessarily be the uh, motivation of some Chinese oligarch. Productive forces, something that Karl Marx and Frederick Engels have talked deeply about. And something that, frankly, both Lenin and Stalin also advocated for. They didn't just uh, allow uh, the communes to be the only form, the only mechanism to expand productive forces. They did allow market forces in the Soviet Union. And that's the same thing China's doing, just on a larger scale. No, I mean, you're, if you want to ignore the fact that they do not have a socialist economy, that's fine. But the they do have a socialist economy. The mode of production is inherently socialist. Exactly. The wait, no, wait, no, that's production. not true. You just said the same thing. The mode of production no. refers to the economy. The mode of, produ the mode the of production. The mode of production refers to the industrial scale. No, it of refers their to the economic economy. system. No, it doesn't refer. So what he's trying to claim now, from my understanding, is that China right now rapidly industrializing is like when Russia, sorry, the USSR rapidly industrialized right before a massive famine. They, uh, here's the kicker. The Soviet Union forced a shit ton of farmers to work in factories when that famine hit. And there was a bunch of drought and shit and there wasn't enough food. You know what the Soviet Union did after that? They rolled into what are now Ukrainian cities and towns, uh, confiscated their food, and then uh, took it to Moscow. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, one of the one of those one of, one of those moves. I guess that is that is by his defi definition socialist. You know, that's what he thinks socialism is. To the economy, you're thinking you're getting mixed up between the means of production and the mode of production. These are a mode two of production separate refers things. to the type of economy that a country has. A mode of production refers to the technological advancement of their system. As it is, even the United States right now is a socialist mode of production. The means of production is owned by the bourgeoisie, but the Wait, mode of production is socialist. The United States is socialist. The mode of production in the United States is socialist through because the fourth industrial revolution. You cannot have a socialist country if it doesn't have a socialist economy. That goes against Again, basic Again, you're getting it confused. You're Remember, these people are just Nazis with communist aesthetics. So, like, yeah, to them, China is perfect because that's what it is.
it, it's basically just fascist with communist aesthetics. And so that's what they're in favor of. They're just the flip side of Nazis. They're Nazis who don't like the aesthetics of Nazism. So instead, they they go with the, the whole USSR, China, red fash aesthetic. You, you, there were the same type of kids in high school who thought it was super edgy to wear a Yushanka to school with the little ham, hammer and sickle on it. You know those kids? Like, there were the Nazi kids, but then there were the kids who thought they were super edgy to wear a Yushanka with a hammer and sick, uh, sickle to school. Many of you were probably that kid. Hopefully you're not anymore. Yeah, with the fingerless gloves, too. We're talking about the means of production, not the mode of production. No, the superstructure of a society is determined by the base. The base of society being their type the base of, of this, The base of society. The mode of production is socialist, but the means of production is owned by the bourgeoisie. Right, the means of production is owned by the bourgeoisie in China. No, it is not. It's not yes. owned by anything other than the Communist Party of China. You mean the state? And also, no, there are more millionaires coming out of China, like, uh, happening, like, millionaires being made in China than any other country on the planet? Like, it is very much capitalist. That doesn't make any sense. Because under that logic, it Saudi Arabia is a socialist country. No, Saudi Arabia is state capitalist. How is China not state capitalist, but Saudi Arabia is? Because it has the Marxist-Leninist party of the CCP. That doesn't mean anything if the economy the is not socialist. The superstructure is socialist. The, the superstructure is socialist. It and the can't mode of production, be unless the Not the means, is. but the mode of production is socialist. This is insane. This guy's, like, thought process is so out of whack that you can't even engage with it because he actually thinks names make thing a thing. Which is weird because he doesn't apply the same thing to trans people. Like, if you used his logic then simply calling a trans person a woman, like a trans woman a woman, would be enough for him. But with trans people, it's not enough. But with, like, the Communist Party of China, he believes that, because that's what it's called. Government pretends to be socialist, therefore socialist? Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. Like I said, it does make sense if you actually actually read marxist leninist ideas you i don't. have it's all just for show you pretended to be part of the 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 communist party and you ye who cast the first stone have clearly shown that you don't understand marxist leninist principles at all if you don't expand the mode of production if you don't advance it then china just would have been you know socialism and poverty or whatever if we wanted socialism and poverty uh you know like we would just uh you know they would never expand it. It would be like Cuba is today. Cuba has socialism amongst poverty right now. China actually has socialism uh, amongst wealth. And that's the fundamental difference. You want people to be... No! The working class in China lives in nowhere near of good as of living conditions as Americans. And Americans, the working class doesn't live in nearly good enough li uh, average living conditions to justify how wealthy this country is. The same goes for China. China is the second most powerful country in the world. It should have much higher quality of living for its working class. And we should too. There is absolutely a... Not a massive, sorry, a small bourgeoisie class in China, and they control the entire market and economy because they are part of the fucking oligarchy or they're bought out by it. That's how it works. Yeah, he's saying that Deng's market reforms were socialist because the government is literally just called the Communist Party. He's, it's in name only. He actually just thinks the name makes it communist. That's what I'm saying. You can't engage with it. Like, there's no way you can actually argue with that because it's so stupid that uh, you have to... You have to, like, do 50 canisters of whippets just to burn your brain cells down enough to operate on a world that, su like, stupid and simple. Be impoverished. You don't want them actually prosper. If I wanted people to be impoverished, China. why did I just say it was a good idea that they raise millions of people out of absolute poverty? I agree with because that. Because it's a lie. It's a lie. It's You're not lying. a lie. I just, if I'm not were, an ideologue. If it was, 
How has Hassan done Russia apologia? Where should I start? So if we go back to uh, Crimea, he's justified Russia's uh, taking of Crimea. If we go back to when the war was about to start and every uh, person who knew what the fuck they were talking about knew it because Russia was mobilizing units uh, and uh, blood bags, which go bad in like weeks to the border. Um, everybody knew an invasion was going to start. Hassan denied it um, and said it was war hawkish lib shit to believe the war that in Russia was going to invade. Then Russia did invade and Hassan was like, uh, yeah, but to be fair, that area used to be part of uh, Russia originally back in the day. And then he got shit for it and he walked it back. Yeah, he's at every single turn. He's found a way to try to defend Russia. Hassan wants to please the massive audience of tankies he has not a lie then you wouldn't have been against the chinese government the ccp and what they have isn't it okay for people to be wrong why why is why is it that hassan gets so much leeway i know you wouldn't give me that kind of leeway i know you wouldn't give that leeway to me if i did what hassan did i know for a fact i know for a fact you wouldn't give that generosity to me effectively been doing I'm not against what they're doing. I'm happy that they did it. Clearly, I just you must be. I socialist. mean, unless you're just saying that, oh, you know, I'm one of the fucking idiots that think that this is. Uh, also, Hassan's an asshole. He literally has like Vosh's community and Keffels's community banned from his community. And I'm sure if he knew who I was, he'd have my community banned too, because we actually have like principles and won't like allow our communities to be festered full of like the worst types of people on the left, like tankies. Like this guy, for example. Capitalism. See, this is, is the problem. Wrong. You can't take a pragmatic approach to these things. You can both think that that's a good idea without believing that China is a socialist country because they betrayed the ideological principles the Communist Party stood for. What ideological principles have they betrayed? What ideological principles? So under Mao Zedong, the primary contradiction in China was between the proletariat and the bourgeoisie. That changed. Un also, Hassan should box Sam Hyde. I, I do believe he should. I want Hassan to box Sam Hyde. I genuinely believe that. Under Deng Xiaoping. Not necessarily, but No, okay. that is actually what it was within the Communist Party Congress. Oh, we're just ignoring the fact that the peasantry was the driving factor of the Chinese you're, revolution. You're not arguing with me right now. You're arguing with Matt. It's because he's buff, Zan. When you get big muscles, you'll be forgiven for everything. It's, it's fucking real, dude. There's only two ways to become, like, hot enough to people on the left that I can get away with everything, okay? It's either I go full Finster, and I become a femboy. I'll be hot enough that none of you guys will, like, nobody will be able to criticize me. Um, or become, like, roided out and bulky as fuck like Hassan and just be a big muscle chad. Either one of those two is the only way, okay? There, there is no other way. Or to grow out that stupid, like, mustache and mullet. I could do that. I could stay the w same way I am now physically, but grow out a mustache and a mullet, and then that's the middle ground that'll have the same effect. Ow. I'm not arguing with Mal. Mal did not betray the peasantry. No, I'm telling you what the primary contradiction was according to the Chinese Communist Party under Mao. Through the CPC National Congress, that was what was decided upon. Hello? I like to think he's actually just standing completely he froze. still. I think I... Oh, oh he's back? Can hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Do, can you show me where Zetong specifically said that the peasantry were not part of... It wasn't a class collaboration. That's not what I was saying. I was talking about the principal contradiction. That's what you're implying. You're implying you're implying that the only two <laughs> Let's skip to what things to the ever-growing material and cultural needs of the people versus backwards social production, a historical policy shift at the heart of reform and opening up. Developing the economy mainly through growth was thus endorsed by the CPC as the central task. Market economic reform seen at the time as the magic bullet to transform production were unleashed on a precedent, unprecedented scale. That is what I was trying to read. I don't know why you got so aggressive. 
your argument was disproven by everything you just read. No, my only argument was the principal contradiction, according to the Communist Party's National Congress, used to be proletariat versus bourgeoisie, which is central to Marxist thought. Before the uh, actual Red Revolution, when Mao was trying to still work with the nationalists? No, that was after. The first... When as soon as Mao started working with the peasantry, he understood that it was a class collaboration what between the peasantry, about in China's the working class. Why do I have to bring up the exact year? Because I'm trying to. We come already to... know the order of events. The order of events were Mao worked, tried to work with the nationalists. He tried to uh, just work with the working class to try to overthrow the bourgeoisie. It did not work. And then once he realized that the nationalists were never going to work with him, he was forced to take, uh, you know, go into the, the fucking north and actually, you know, fight a protracted people's war. And he went to the peasantry. That's who he went to. He didn't go to the workers. He understood this. This is a matter of historical fact. It's completely right, undeniable. I'm talking about after 1949. That was when the primary contradiction changed. You're not talking about 1949. Yes, because... Before, no, you're not. Yes, I am. What you're, ta what you're talking I'm about literally reading... is it contradicting exactly what the Chinese Communist Party, well, before they were a party, what the Red Revolution actually did. They worked I'm with the I'm literally peasantry. reading it's Chinese undeniable. news to you it, right now. And you know what, though? You're selecting works that have nothing to do with the reality of what we're talking about. I'm here. reading the okay. official documents literally, from the 19th Communist Party of China It doesn't Communist matter what you're China officially reading Congress. because we know what the circumstance was. We know that Mao failed to work with the nationalists. He's mad that she's reading, like, actual records from the night... From the... Uh, from China back then. She, he's mad that she's reading the, uh... The actual, like, documents. No, no, you're not allowed to actually bring up evidence. No, 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 we have to talk about my explanation of what actually happened. Trust me, bro. Trust me, bro. I've read a lot of theory. Trust me, bro. Keffels is extremely in the know about all this shit. It's impressive. Yeah, you should be watching her if you aren't already. And was forced to go to the countryside and talk with the peasantry and work with the peasantry. And it became a coalition of the working class, the peasantry, and sections of the small landlords and the petite bourgeoisie that fought against the Chinese nationalists. So, like, and I the need you to know I'm not disagreeing with you, but you're getting mad that I'm reading documents from the 19th century. I'm CBC getting National mad Congress. that you are failing to actually argue your point. I your haven't point even is, set up my point. Your point about, oh, it was actually, you know, uh, just the working class the versus the big class is just false. It's false. What is false? Your argument that the, it was only the working class and the bourgeoisie is false. No, I was reading to you what the primary contradiction was in China in post-49. That doesn't matter to your point. It doesn't matter. We no, know what the matter. actual reality was. No, it doesn't matter. Point. No, it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't does. matter because you're a fucking retard, okay? Shut the fuck up. Mm, I know the spicy. history. You clearly don't. You're the one who's yelling at me over reading official Chinese I'm yelling Chinese at you because you're a fucking you. stupid troon, okay? Now okay, shut the fuck up spicy. and realize the situation. China. Do you feel like a big boy now? Under Mao. Under Mao. You feeling like it a big shown, boy? It was shown under Mao that he worked with the peasantry and he worked with the working class, the petite bourgeoisie, and the small... Remember, the tankies are all transphobic. There are some trans tankies as well that'll... Oh my god, they're the fastest to use Idpol. But guess who else likes using Idpol? Trans conservatives. And trans Nazis. And black conservatives. And black Nazis. Love using Idpol. The trans tankies are the same way. They, they believe the same things this guy does. They're just as huge a pieces of shit. But... You know, they're they're trans, and so they use the id poll as, like, a way to attack people. You see it often. All-time landlords. And he built a class collaboration to fight the Chinese nationalists. Okay, look. I have to mute you because you can't call me transphobic slurs on Twitch. You can do it in your tanky Discord after this, but please be respectful for the platform. Nothing okay. I said really constituted that kind of attack. That's a bit uncalled for. I, I haven't care. called you a single name. I don't care what, how you feel. I really don't care how you feel. Why did you want to debate in the first place, though? <gasps> the fucking the 
debunk your bullshit, your fucking LGBTQ CIA agenda bullshit. I'm That's reading Communist push. Party documents to you. This has nothing to do with transgender And issues. you're reading Chinese Communist Party documents without any context to what we're actually talking about. There's nothing that you- No, you're not allowed to read the evidence in the documents. You have to believe my explanation of what really happened. Trust me, bro. Dude, tankies love that. They, they, they're they like, no, 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 don't Google that. Listen to my explanation of what really happened. You have to understand, I can give you the true context. You don't read the documents. You're reading right now? That's relevant to what we're talking about. I think it is relevant. Absolutely. You're a fucking retard. Okay, I mean, like, what I'm saying is relevant to Bombard the Headquarters, the short document written by Mao in 66. It's Absolutely. not relevant to the reality that we saw with China. It was class collaboration. It's undeniable. That is what happened. Wait, what is what is undeniable? That it was class collaboration. The Red Revolution was class collaboration. It was the working class. It was the peasantry. It was the petite bourgeoisie, and it was the small time landlords. Right, but the primary contradiction I was talking about occurred after the revolution. The primary contradiction that we're talking about is in the context of the revolution. We're not talking about anything post that. You're bringing that up because you're trying to. I mean, I started this conversation talking about audience. the Cultural Revolution, which happened in the 1970s. I was not talking about the Cultural Revolution. I never was. What? I was never talking about the cultural I revolution. I was. That was the point I was trying to well, make. Well, that, that's because you're fucking retarded. I wasn't arguing on the basis of the cultural revolution, so it was an irrelevant point. No, it's relevant to my it's argument. It's entirely irrelevant. Your argument is irrelevant because that's not the context of the argument I'm making. If, if you're actually going to make an argument, you should be actually addressing what I'm talking about instead of what you're bringing up that happened, no, you know, a decade and a quarter into the future. And you were getting your mad argument, at me because you don't Your like argument Chinese has nothing people. to do with that. Your argument has nothing to do with that. That's what was happening down the road. I'm talking about what founded China. And... What you're talking about is entirely okay, but the person who founded China to. disagreed before his death on where China was headed as a country. And Mao was losing his fucking mind by that point. Mao was at the point of where Reagan was uh, towards the end of his presidency. That's irrelevant. Wow, so you think the great chairman was insane? Let me give you an idea of, like, how much Nazis and tankies are just the same. When I got banned from Twitter because I called a, uh, or I told a lollycon transphobe to KYS, and I got permanently banned for it because uh, bullying uh, pedophiles is not allowed on Twitter. Uh, we know, you know, Elon Musk and Epstein were pretty good friends, so it's understandable. Um, they're a protected class on Twitter now. Uh, but yeah, I got banned, and I looked on Reddit, and there were two subreddits that back to back in the same like five minute span posted about me getting banned from Twitter and celebrating it. The first one was the Nazi one. It was from Kotaku in Action 2. For those that don't know, Kotaku in Action was the subreddit that started Gamergate. Kotaku in Action 2 is the new subreddit because the old one got banned where they're trying to make Gamergate 2 happen. And so they were like, uh, Xander Hall got sent, I mean, deplatformed from Twitter. Uh, and then, like, a bunch of crab emojis. And the one right on top of that is from Enough Vosh Spam, the tanky subreddit, uh, that's centered on trying to get Vosh banned. And um, it's uh, it's uh, Vosh clone Xander Hall has been banned or something like that. And it's, uh, it's the tanky subreddit with basically, like, the same posts but worded slightly differently. And all the same comments but worded slightly differently in the replies. And it just really makes you realize, wow... Everyone who hates me is one, really stupid and awful, two, all the same, and three, like, w w both these sides should hate Twitter and Elon Musk. Well, I guess the Nazis like Elon Musk and Twitter. Um, they shouldn't be in favor of me getting banned. And why are the tankies celebrating Elon Musk banning me for making fun of a transphobe? Interesting. And it re you realize very quickly that both sides' primary uh, motivation is the left is bad. Dunk on lefties. I think that any person that gets a, stays in a position of power too long that is, me like, you know, not mentally with it as they get to, you know, an elderly age shouldn't be in a position of power. And that is proven when 
Mao is contradicting all of his works based on the conditions that he existed in the uh, during the revolution. So, so it's you're not saying like the Marxist Leninist governance model is inherently flawed because it allows people to stay in power for significantly long periods Incorrect. of time without checks. Incorrect. So that clearly didn't happen with Stalin. That clearly didn't happen with Lenin. They all died at a, a reasonable time That's period. That's because we they also got know for a fact that all other existing socialist countries also that didn't really angry, have this problem. Dude. It was really because of the conditions of the Chinese Communist Party and because of U.S. influence that that China was having these issues at that time. And it clearly recovered. They clearly figured out the way to actually have people in power within a reasonable amount of time. We see that the Chinese system was capable of reform. How did that change? You're denying that exists. What was the policy change? Well, the policy change, uh, what are you referring to specifically uh, in the regards of old age or whatever? Yeah, I don't know the exact name about. of the policy, but we can see that whatever China did, the end result was that there's no longer people in positions uh, of political leadership that are so elderly that they're like go against everything that they fought for during a revolution. You know, like it's clear that the Chinese Could system you? reforms. I can't pinpoint the exact policy, but I don't need to because we can see the end condition. So you don't Oh, he let it slip. Keffels is trying to read documents and bring up exact policies, and he's like, I don't need to bring up exact policies. Or whatever pop of policies Because that goes against any sort of Marxist analysis. We can, analysis. Look at, we can examine the conditions. The we can examine the conditions. That's what we actually have to examine. It doesn't matter this Anglo box bullshit that you're trying to say that's something to do with Marxist Leninism. No, that's bullshit. What? We know for I was a fact the Chinese system was paid for documents. How is that the Chinese Anglo? system, the Chinese system, by trying to use so called evidence I've as only, some sort of. So far. He's such a Redditor, bro. Oh my god. Do I need to show you guys more of that guy's skits? Because this guy, there's literally a clip in one of those skits where the Redditor does, like, says that, like that, and does the, the quotes with his hands. Oh my god. He's so, he is the most stereotypical Redditor. It's actually insane. I didn't know they made people like this. I thought it was just a meme. Fence, in when we can argument, see what the end results of Chinese the conditions of these policies actually are. We can see what these end results of these policies are. We don't have to look into, you know, the, the fine details or whatever, because we see what the end results of the policies are. That is what actually is dialectal, is examining what? the conditions in which we exist. That goes against what the Chinese and Communist fail, Party itself you does. You fail to do that. You fail to do that because you're a fucking, I can't say the word TOS, but you know what I mean. Okay, I get it. You're a little angry boy. You need to keep turning this back to identity politics. <laughs> he wanted to say the tea slur, but he can't. But all I'm trying to do is talk to you about because Chinese politics. Because you're part of the LGBTQCIA agenda. I know what you're pushing. You're trying to uh, feminize the masculine people in our society. You're trying to turn everyone, everyone that you fucking can, into some sort True. of TOS. True. And when you're doing that, you're purposely causing the reduction of this population. You are cursing the Western civilizations, whether it be the United States, Germany, France, or Ireland, what? to a, a, an agenda that is going to kill all off the human population over time and they're just nazis remember they are all just nazis they just like the commie aesthetic more than the nazi aesthetics they go with the commie aesthetic they're all just nazis that's why i treat them like it because this is always the case every marxist leninist every tanky every uh authoritarian communist this is what they are the frustrating thing is you have to like get a few cracks in the armor for them to reveal this is what they are because they really like to put on this veneer of civility and uh uh like oh yeah i've read so much theory i'm so well mannered and I'm, I'm very knowledgeable i'm gonna educate you now and you like try to read evidence back to them after they pull a bunch of shit out of their ass and they start ex screaming at you he also likes to target jewish people yeah they're they're nazis too yeah and allow the bourgeois elites to be able to maintain their yeah, uh, that was interesting to me, actually. society. What and you were saying exactly, about Ireland. You are all advocating for the WEF. You are advocating for the fascism of liberalism. That is what you advocate for. I find it That's interesting that you can't you actually have the, the conversation LGBTQ about China. CIA agenda. That you That's need to exactly go to talking do. about trans issues when we were having a conversation because about China. None of this has to do with your you argument. Argue. All of your arguments are on the basis of this lie trans that fascism. you can be Let's a go. fucking woman when we know for a fact you are a man. How is me reading 19th uh, Communist Party Lucas, of Co China National Congress documents? Lucas, what does that have to shut do? Shut the fuck up. Lucas, shut the fuck up.
Do you feel like Your a big LGBTQ boy? LGBTQ CIA agenda bullshit. You will not be able to keep pushing <laughs> this down the throats of the American people and the rest of Western society. You can I ask you? A, will be crushed. Can I ask you a question, just respectfully, about Ireland? Because I know that was something that you found contentious. I can tell you that, regardless of my knowledge of Irish politics, this is what they're all like. Especially the ones that like to woke scold you on Twitter and call you transphobic for not agreeing with them. That like. America is always bad or whatever. That the IRA back in the day yeah, he has a would never cup, he's a have allowed a TOS to be able to just move to their country. Right. So do you agree when one of the Republicans... When he says TOS, he means like the F slur or the T slur, I guess. ...and first minister said um, about a decade ago now that homosexuality should be made illegal? No, I actually don't believe in that argument. You don't? No. Interesting. I believe that you should incentivize traditional lifestyles. That's what I advocate for. Oh, that was why they were trying to make that argument. Which you don't incentivize traditional lifestyles just by banning the alternative. You actually financially, materially, you know, promote the idea that you should get married to a woman. And give Yes, we'll cure gayness by giving fucking stimulus checks to gay people who marry a woman that would be fucking goaded dude can you imagine the amount of fucking uh uh fraud that would be going on if like gay dudes and gay women could or in trans people could get a fucking check from the government for being in the closet do you know how much fraud would be happening? Like, oh man, oh the person, the government's coming by today. Listen, I've I've been on hormones for three years now. You gotta make up. You gotta get me a makeup. You gotta put a little bit of uh of fake beard on me, okay? You gotta okay. We gotta you gotta put a little makeup on me to make it look like I'm wrinklier, kind of yeah yeah yeah. Okay 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 okay. All right, you gotta get a binder on me now. Ah oh, shit. Ah oh, fuck. Ah uh, yeah. Like it, it would be like a whole. It'd be like when you have disability. And you have to hide that, like, it'd be like somebody who's doing disability fraud, right? And they're actually not, they don't have any disability, and so they have to, like, hide that they're not really disabled in public. But then when they get inside in their home, they can be fine. But with being LGBT and getting the checks for, for okay, I'm sorry. I, I, I took this bit too far, but I think that'd be hilarious. And you have... If this guy's idea happened, the amount of fraud that would be happening would be fucking wild, dude. Every gay person in the country would be pretending to be in the closet and getting those checks for living a heteronormative lifestyle. <laughs> Absolutely, fucking bro. There, there are so many gay and trans people that are in the closet right now for free, okay? If you pay them for it, yeah, uh, yeah sure, okay you financial incentives to do so uh that's what i advocate for uh i want uh men and women to continue being able to get married and be able to afford having children i want them to be able to have you know good material lives and also be rebuild the family unit whether it be white americans or black americans or hispanic americans it doesn't matter we need families rebuilt in this country and that's the kind of thing that you know this lgbtq cia agenda actually does Personally, I don't really care. I might throw a slur here or there, but at the end of the day, I don't really care if gay people can get married. I don't really care that people as adults mm -hmm. can legally transition, you know, and get the, the medical procedures they need to do that. That's their own body and their own choice, just like I believe that you should have the right uh, to, you know, I don't know what TOS is on Twitch, but get a or not. You know, you should be able to make that so decision. So you're actually, you you're for same-sex marriage or, then. You should also be able to be, have the choice to be able to get an abortion. I'm consistent on this issue, but ultimately, I do recognize the importance of incentivizing traditional families. I understand the importance of incentivizing religion, and I understand the importance of being able to maintain the... I don't hate gay or trans people, I promise, but I'm going to scream several slurs at you. ...main structure that will every, allow an Amer American communist movement to happen. Because without okay. the American family... I mean, we were talking about have Ireland. no foundation. The closest, the, 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 the core thing of communism is community. And what is the smallest, most basic okay. form of community? That is the family. And that's exactly what you want to destroy. But you're, you're for same-sex marriage? I don't care if gay people get married. That's not my problem. Interesting. What is my problem is... 
everyone becoming feminized, everyone getting this agenda pushed down their fucking throats. I mean, I you're the one who's more fixated exist. on this. They you realize exist, that, right? Because like I came into this talking about China. I've only talked about Chinese Communist Party documents. See, now you're pivoting back to this. But yes, the because that was what your word. initial Why argument is the was about. I'm bringing this up. Why is this the reason I'm bringing this up? Because I understand that you're an unfaithful actor. You don't want to actually benefit the American people. And I'm not American. This is part of that basis. Yeah, now you're Irish. We don't want to benefit the I Irish wasn't people. American Canadian. before. Whatever the fuck you are, Canadian, I don't give a shit. You don't give a shit about whatever Western country you came from and whatever Western country. He's so stupid. It's just across the board. He's just, he has no fucking idea what he's talking about. Is it really this easy to be a, like, tanky streamer or whatever? Do you just have to scream a bunch of buzzwords off the top of your head? Like, you don't understand the dialectical materialism of the living conditions of the working class when the oligarchs of the China Communist Party, they implemented a state communist government. It is very good. Like, I, I, don't, I feel like I could just rant about, like, the most off-the-cuff bullshit, just, like, stringing together as many buzzwords as possible. And the average tanky viewer of this guy's content would assume I'm actually saying something and watch it and just nod along. I genuinely feel like that's how it goes, because I've listened to, like, Haas talk from, like, the infrared guy, and he's actually just doing word salad, I'm pretty sure. Like, it's actually, I, I think he's actually memeing, because the more I listen to him, the more it's, like, very obvious he's doing, like, purposeful word salad, and people are just eating it the fuck up. Country you go to you don't give a shit about human people all you want to do what? is advocate for the lgbtq cia agenda which is part of the malthusian plot to reduce the population to, to keep tearing apart our families in the united states you don't see how it's it, a bit that, weird to that say we that we won't ever ever be able to stand against u.s imperialism are you capable of making your facts. argument without yelling about because i haven't done anything even half Why as aggressive do you to care you that i fucking yell stop being a little fucking bitch and actually fucking listen to what i'm goddamn saying why are you so mad? Who hurt you? Why am I so mad? Because you're advocating for the LGBTQ CIA agenda. You're advocating for reducing the population. You're advocating for eco-fascism. You're advocating- Redditor talks to a woman for the first time. For all of this shit that the U.S. imperialists- Can you and the explain West how I advocated for eco- All the ra- he's like expressing all the rage of every woman who's ever friend-zoned him. Like, he's finally getting revenge against the femoids for all the women who ever friend-zoned him. Look at him. You can see it. The rage in his eyes. He's gonna get these- he's gonna get back at these women. For all the times they rejected him and put him in the friend zone! Go oh, fascism? Stop interrupting me, you fucking cuck! What? Let me tell you what the fucking facts are, you fucking stupid- I can't say that. Goddamn fucking Twitch T West. Why do you have to go to this extent? Let me like, fucking why? tell you. What no, I'm the listening. Facts are. I just want to know why you're so mad. Fuck. Okay, let me tell you what the facts are. The okay. facts are that's what you want to do. You want to reduce the population. You want to promote eco fascism. And that's why you're against China. Because China what? is actually trying to lift people out of poverty. I'm not against China. Of reducing the population. You are against China. We know you're How against, am I against China. China. We know you're against Russia. We know you're How against, am I against Russia. Libya. We know that you're Can against you explain to me a single position that I have made that is anti any of those anti-imperialist country in the world we what? know this China of course he's pro Russia yes Russia right now is very famously anti-imperialist guys Try, like yeah right now in the world stage Russia as anti-imperialist oh the two peas in a pod those words go together super well it is imperialist the LGBT China is one of the CIA largest agenda. imperialist everything countries in the world what are you talking about Capitals, everything also don't talk about what China's doing in Africa that's not imperialism I promise is linked back to that, Keppels. That is what? the facts of the situation. Or what Russia is doing in also Africa and the Middle East. That's not imperialism, I promise. That's what the facts are. You, Do you are think part of this LGBTQ CIA agenda, and that's why you fundamentally are not an honest actor. You can't even be honest about what gender you are. What? Did, did you think that was a really funny zinger? But anyway, I what I was saying fact, is that China is one of the largest imperialist countries in the world, and if you actually read Marxist-Leninist literature, you would agree with that point. Lenin made it very clearly in Imperialism, the Highest State of Capitalism, outlining what exactly imperialism is, and China fits pretty well into that box. What? Do I know what? I don't understand what you're saying. So he's... He's, I think he's saying TOS little cuck. I, so I think I think he's saying like 
T slur little cuck is what he's trying to say. I, I guess if you see if you scream slurs loud enough at a minority, I guess you win the debate. See, this this isn't Marxist behavior in the slightest. Like I knew you weren't really a communist. Communists are capable of actually engaging in a dialectic. You, you give me your points, I'll give you my points. We can meet in the middle and come to a mutual understanding. Like, let me let me ask you a question. It's your brand or you're getting fascism. That's the reality. Either you support the mega communists that fighting against the LGBT. Oh, he's a mega communist. So he's a Haas fan. So he's an infrared fan. Okay, he's copying infrared. That makes sense. I need you to know you're yelling so loud you're blowing out your microphone and no one in chat can understand what you're saying. You're fighting against the LGBTQ CIA agenda, are you not? Is that what you're actually trying to say? Because that's the only real communists are fighting against that. You aren't fighting against that. What? We know you're not fighting against that because you're literally promoting the LGBTQ so CIA agenda. So is Cuba agenda. not communist? I mean, it's really not communist anymore. It's clearly been taken over by the U.S. imperialists. You would get kicked out of- It's actually fucking crazy. Th this thought just hit me, and it, it just blew me away. That Shu on Head is actually politically closer to this guy than she is to Keffels. Like, all these things are the kind of thing that Shu would actually agree with, funnily enough. Like, the LGBTQ CIA agenda, the anti-vax stuff, the- like, MAGA communism. Like, if Shuan had heard about MAGA communism, you better believe she'd be on board. Any communist organization, anywhere, for care. making that I'm statement. Banned. I'm already banned from the CPUSA. I'm already banned from the PCUSA. I'm already banned from PSL. I don't give a shit. And why shit. do you think that you is? You think I give a shit? Why do I think that is? Because the overwhelming majority of communist organizations in the United States are bought and controlled by the CIA, the FBI, and the U.S. State Department. And we know this for no, a fact. No, no, no. When he says fight against the TOS, he's using TOS as a stand-in word for slurs. He means the T-slur. When he yells TOS, he means a slur that he can't say because he'll get banned off Twitch. But he's probably going to get banned off Twitch anyway because he's said several slurs already before Keffels is like, by the way, I'm streaming this on Twitch. And he streams on Twitch. <laughs> So, did you want to continue with the conversation about China? Like, I get it. You hate that I'm trans. It's fine. But it's really not relevant to the conversation. You know you're not being honest about any topic, whether we're talking about China or we're talking about Russia. I've or only we're quoted about Chinese Libya, documents. So, unless you're saying that the Chinese Communist Saddam Party Hussein is dishonest. Iraq, whether you're, no matter who you're talking about, sip, you're not coming from an honest cup. angle. It doesn't matter what you read. It doesn't matter it doesn't... what context you try to put in. Wait. Because the core of it, the core of it is that you support the LGBTQ CIA agenda. So, you're Therefore, telling me you that be trusted reading theory isn't necessary. To be we in a literally communist. cannot trust you on any topic because you don't even know if you're a man or a woman. You're telling me reading theory has she nothing to do with a being woman. a communist? Like, you can you just... You cannot actually... I like how they say... I feel like the response to every time they say, you don't know if you're a man or a woman should just be, yeah, I know, I, I, I'm a... I'm a, And then whatever your gender is, if you're trans. Like, like, it's just a, it's a straw man. It's them trying desperately to make being trans look ridiculous. Like, you don't even know if you're, you're a man or a woman. It's like, really? That, that's your gotcha? I'm pretty sure it isn't the other gotcha that trans people are so obsessed with their gender identity that they're telling everybody about it all the time and they're forcing it on everybody else. But now all of a sudden they don't know it. It's just the, the most disjointed list of possible like stereotypes and insults you can think of is what these people push articulate theory in any constructive way whatsoever i mean i can if you, if you would be willing to calm down and actually have the you discussion i'm more than willing to any point you cannot argue any point until you, you admit every man. time i try to set up until an you argument you get really mad and you start going off about transitions about you setting up an argument you think i'm here so you can set up arguments bitch yes this the was what the is? point of a debate the was you think this is? be real with yourself be, be real with yourself you i'm the motherfucking yankee tanky bitch no one gets to come and construct fucking arguments when it comes to me so I you're not a communist everything before you even try to fucking start an argument why because that's what the yankee tanky is all about it's revealing the garbage revealing the truth he's he's like a redditor that actually thinks he's badass he's so fucking like internet tough guy right now it's insane 
Oh my god, the amount of weakness this guy must experience in his daily life. Do you think he goes outside? Do you think he, like, can talk to people at the uh, register when he has to buy groceries or whatever? Or, like, if he goes to the store to buy, like, anything? Do you think he can talk? Like, can he talk over the phone? This is not a guy who can go outside and have a conversation with, like, people in public. The people like this who have this type of behavior would like they get arrested if they go out in public and they they do this sort of thing i'm pretty sure he's homeless yeah like a lot of these um tanky types don't actually make that much money so they do live together so it's possible this guy lives with like haas or whatever like he, he might actually be like homeless and living with haas isn't he homeless he is always outside oh yeah so is he actually like confirmed homeless that makes sense okay Crash! Revealing the garbage and trash! I mean, so far all I've got from you is, you hate Mao, you think China is dishonest. So this guy's literally a homeless Redditor. Th this guy's literally a homeless Redditor. Who's, like, having a mental breakdown and getting blown the fuck out, but he's so delusional he thinks he's, like, winning right now, so he's, like, he he's, like, gloating about how much he's winning, but he's also just... He's actually just having a schizo breakdown. It's the it's the Joker. It's that scene from the Jonker where he's on the stage and he thinks he's giving this amazing like uh like stand up and everyone's clapping, but then he sees the video and it replays and he realizes everyone was laughing at him and he was like completely fucking it up. Yeah, he, he's he's gone full Jonker mode. You don't think China's socialist. You don't think Cuba's socialist. It just sounds like you're not very much of a Marxist-Leninist at all. Like, I've met Marxist-Leninists from all across the world, and none of them act like you or have these very bizarre esoteric beliefs. I'm not on the left. I am a right-wing communist, you fucking moron. I'm a MAGA communist. I never- Only real communists are right-wing. I'm curious to see if he thinks the Nazis are socialists, because I bet he'll say yes. He'll say, yeah, the Nazis are socialist. I'm one of them. Pretended to be on the left. Fuck the left. The left is going to lead us down the pathway of destruction. The left is going to always side with Big Pharma. The left is always going to side with the U.S. Th this is unironically where Shu is headed, funnily enough. Like, the, like it's hilarious how correct that, that take was earlier. Like, this is literally like, yeah, this is Nazbul Vortex shit. I do worry about this type of stuff blowing up. It doesn't really seem like it's going to as long as, like, Haas, the mental breakdown haver, and this guy, the also mental breakdown haver, are two of its biggest, like, proponents. As well as Redface, Spanky Boy, Moppin. But Christ, you know, I do worry about people falling for this shit, you know? Thinking that you can be conservative and pro-worker? It's not possible. It's diametrically opposed to each other. Less imperialists, they're always going to side with the nonprofit organizations. They're always going to do that. They're bought and paid for. The right wing is where the so, real revolutionary movement in the United States is. And by Karl Marx standard, the right wing in the United States is the actual left wing of the United States. Christ. Are you finished? Can I make uh, my point now? He's doing the Redditor nod to too. We're stopping TOS. <laughs> Notice his little <laughs> Redditor <laughs> nod. So you're wrong about base and superstructure. No, I'm not. It's yes. New Marxist analysts. Yes, it, you like, are, because the base isn't I, just the just means like, of production, just like Len, just and the like means Len, of production refers just to tools, like Len, machines, just factories, Len, just land, like Len, raw material. Like Len, but the base is also Len, the relations Len, of production. Just like Lenin. Just like Lenin. Huh? Just like Lenin. Just like just Lenin. What? Like Lenin. Shut the fuck up. Just like Lenin. Just like expanded Lenin. Expanded from Karl. Just like Lenin. Expanded from Karl Marx with 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 his ideological differences, realizing that Karl Marx wasn't completely right. Lenin expanded on Karl Marx. What? And likewise, how did Lenin change Lenin. base and superstructure? <sighs> Lenin changed a lot of different things. It's I'm doing EP. the same thing here. Wait, so you're changing Marx's theory on the fly in order to win an argument I'm about Marx's theory? What the material it's not on the fly. I have been examining these conditions for an extremely long time. We can recognize that what the current global order Wait. and how things are set up now it's not even capitalism anymore it's so you realize how silly that is because like when the communist party it's of china silly. says that it's, it's not analyzing it's not silly. It's when they not say silly. that they're analyzing it's material silly. conditions it's the, every silly. single Capitals. national Capitals. congress they're, they're silly. Silly. analyzing the economic data of every factory in the, the country in order to come to conclusions about the material conditions because material conditions aren't about your feelings they're about actual raw data 
The only thing silly right now, Keppels, is the fact that you don't recognize what gender you are. That's that's so true. You you totally own me there. It's fucking hilarious. It's fucking hilarious. You're a fucking goofball. Regular old goofball. Silly little fucking silly fucking goofball. It's what you fucking are. That's so true. He's trying to do the Noah Sampson style like video essayist comedy now after having a mental breakdown and screaming slurs you actually are okay are you like horny for me are, now the facts are the facts are 100 percent. okay there are two types of transphobes and this dichotomy applies to two different categories okay it's a combination of these four things but there are two types if that makes sense right every transphobe is either retarded or a pedophile or retarded or a chaser or a combination that's how it goes every time every single time so yeah it's the triangle some transphobes are just retarded and they grow out of it some are pedophiles and their transphobia is them using the uh, 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 just trying to deflect and some of them are chasers and they are very self-hating about it those are the three combinations. All transphobes, including TERFs, this applies to, yeah. It's so usually when people call me a silly little goofball, they start making out with me afterwards. Conditions. If we actually examine the material conditions as they exist, we no longer exist under capitalism. We live under socialism for the rich. The mode of production, which is separate from the means of production, okay, has become socialized. Bro, this weed is so strong, I got moose-like reflexes right now. That is what the information age is. That is what the fourth industrial revolution is. That's the conditions in which we exist. That the mode of production okay. has changed. What is the, the relations of production, of production? Has not. I'm not fucking done, Keffels. Okay. I'm just asking we you to explain to my audience, which is full of like forced feminized CIA cucks, and I don't think they know what the relations of production are. So maybe you could explain it to them. The mode of production is no relation, the means relations of production. of production. The relationship between the mode and the means of production, while they still are part of the section of the base, are two separate parts of the base. And so the base is still controlled by the American and Western superstructure, but the mode of production, the amount of the kind of technology has inherently socialized. What the information age is, the fourth industrial revolution. That didn't explain what AI is the technology. relations of production. I'm not fucking done, Capel. Shut the fuck no, up. No, you're going on a tangent. Capel, I just want you to explain. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. If you're going to go on a tangent, I'm going to go on I'm a tangent. I'm not on a tangent. Fucking TOS. Now let's fucking fucking focus here with your ADHD brain and fucking focus on what I'm fucking talking about. So the base and the superstructure might still be two separate segments, but the superstructure only has control of the base, but it doesn't mean that the technology that's mm -hmm. being utilized isn't socialist just, just due to the ownership. In fact, it is inherently socialist because this doesn't it is answer the question. On a social means of production. The question the was, first, what is the relation to production? Explain without explaining base or superstructure. These are different concepts. No. No, I will continue to say what I'm saying because what you're trying to argue is irrelevant to the point. I wasn't argue arguing that. anything. I was asking I a question. I don't give a shit what you were trying to ask me. I'm telling you how it fucking is, you fucking TOS. Now, let's fucking focus here if you're fucking addled HDA porn brain. What? The facts HDA are, the facts are brain. that the base of production Oh, this guy's a porn addict too. Yeah, every guy you see on the internet who's like anti-porn or whatever is a porn addict. Um, I don't know if you guys are like the the no fap dudes are either like actively or ex porn addicts and they can't conceive of somebody who can like healthily consume porn like they, they think that everybody has to jack off like I don't know like once a day or two times a day which is not generally normal if that's how much you need to be jacking off um, and so they like they assume that uh, everybody has that problem and they project their like porn addiction, their masturbation addiction or sex addiction on everybody. And so they like they'll just come out of nowhere with porn addled brain as like an insult. And it's like, oh, you're one of those people. You're a porn addict. Not Zan calling it every 13 year old. I don't really think like I don't think it's normal to jack off even that often. Like, I'd say I jack off maybe, like, three times a week. Generally, yeah. That's about right. Yeah. that That's generally two to three times a week. 
been socialized. Even if the ownership has not changed, the base of the structure has been socialized through the fourth industrial lot, revolution. So and what that means is that we no longer have a for-profit system. Okay, but can the you explain what the operate. relations of production is? I'm not fucking done. We do I... not have. Lightweight. Listen, that doesn't account for how much sex I'm having. None. Temples, we're not fucking done here. Focus your porn addled EDH fucking deep Look, I've been brain very charitable to you. Minute. I know you don't know so, what you're talking about, but I wanted to I give you a chance to explain. About, you fucking TOS fucking focus. I have taken okay. your fucking I have taken ADHD an entire college course at a Chinese university on socialism with Chinese characteristics. For, for you to your do that, to just say I don't know what I'm talking about, just really reveals that most of your politics your is art is from like R slash politics balls, let's be honest. For two minutes. Your porn adult brain is incapable. How do you know my focusing? brain is porn adult? How do you know my brain is porn adult? Exactly. You're fucking porn adult. It's obvious you're porn adult. How? You're pretending to be a fucking woman. Now, let's fucking focus with your ADHD. How am I pretending brain. to be a woman? Let's focus with your ADHD. I mean, I've been focusing. Brain. I've been asking let's you to explain focus. one you're concept, just one you're Marxist clearly concept, not on what I'm and you can't explain you. it. You know, you're you don't know what it means, so you keep pivoting. Fucking TOS, you porn adult TOS. Shut the fuck up. No one cares. No one cares okay? about what? Shut the fuck up, you porn adult brain. How am I okay. porn adult? I would just start like going ah over the sky to see how much i could make him lose his mind if somebody because is like so clearly emotionally um weak like this i can't help but try to make them like ideally like start breaking shit like i want i want to debate this guy just so i can make him start breaking shit i just want to start like talking over him and, and saying like like I think that America should conquer China. I just want to go on the most, like, pro-America rant ever. Like, very pro-imperialism, pro-America, pro-capitalism, all that. And just make this guy, like, start smashing shit around him on camera. Until, like, his computer breaks, and then we just hear him leave the call. That's how- that's what I want to do with this guy. I feel like I could make him do that. Zan just wants to bully mentally ill people? Yes! But only the tankies and the Nazis, who are all mentally ill, so that that does work out well. Shut the fuck up, porn idol. <laughs> How? Now, explain. Shut the fuck up, you fucking troon. Can you explain now, to me why you can't have a conversation about Chinese politics without evolving into transgender slurs? Of shutting the fuck up when I'm talking to you. I'm okay, so I muted him again because he can't have this conversation like a grown up without calling me slurs, which you know I haven't actually insulted him in any way like that. This is really a behavioral issue on his part and probably why he's been banned from all these organizations. The relationship of production refers to the relationship between different classes in society and the relationship to private property, capital, and commodities in that society. If the base of a society is not socialist, the superstructure cannot be socialist. Okay, you back? You ready? Okay, now, as I was saying, the superstructure... While it still has control of the base, no longer is as you're trying to explain it. It no longer exists in that capacity. And the evidence is that our system is no longer for profit. We are existing within a fourth industrial revolution that has changed the mode of production, not the means, the mode of production, to a socialized mode of production. This has fundamentally changed how the U.S. imperialists operate. Because while the same people are still under control of the system, they're not able to operate in the same way they did under an imperialist monopoly capitalist system, which is no longer existing. We now have socialism for the rich. Corporations and monopolies have effectively merged with the state. It's a form of either whether you want to call it fascism or socialism for the rich, whatever the case you might want to categorize that is. The facts are that we no longer operate for profit. There is no longer an anarchy of production. And we and it's been proven. Look at uh, what situation happened with Bud Light. Uh, you know, the mm -hmm. beer that all these right-wingers are trying to uh, actually, you know, boycott or whatever, the company that owns the, uh, Bud Light, uh, they're still making a shit ton of fucking money. Why? Because mm -hmm. they own all, almost all of the fucking beer companies. They already own a monopoly, that, right? That's... And that's how monopolies operate in the 21st century. Monopolies don't operate like they did in the 20th century. That... That's not how... That That's not an argument against what that's not an argument in favor of what what he believes the argument that a company can do something 
for one brand that will appeal to one group politically and still have the people that get mad about it buy another brand that belongs to their company. So it's they're maximizing their profits on either side. Like that's that's definitely capitalism and caring about the bottom line and profit. I assure you companies are not anti-profit. Of century where it was just about crushing competition uh, and maximizing profits. Now monopolies operate not for profit, to do, but to maintain the social structure, maintain the superstructure from the top. Uh, you know, no amount of profits matter anymore. There is no. See, anarchy I, I kind production. of agree with you, but it is wrongheaded. They control the base, not the superstructure. But because they control the base, they're allowed to influence the superstructure. Whoever controls the economy controls society. Right, which is why it is no longer capitalist. It is socialist or fascist or whatever you want to categorize it as. So why, are you, why are you being so aggressive? It is socialist or fascist or whatever you want to categorize it as. Okay. Okay. If, if, if we actually had the dialectic in the first place, we could have come to a conclusion. Like, we just agreed with because each other. Because you're a fucking TOS. It, like, I'm immediately going to be compatible with you because you're a TOS. Why? Now, if maybe, maybe, just maybe... You were one of the TOSs that actually didn't push your the agenda down your throat. Maybe we can this have is a really, conversation. This is really sad, like, dude. You'll advocate for the LGBTQ CIA agenda. So, so you think that my plot them. is that Any I want to reduce the making, population, but here you are me, defending the country that had the one-child policy. The one-child policy uh, was a mistake. I agree with that, but that doesn't mean I stopped supporting China. There is many policies that China has done, like, for example, real. the zero COVID policy. I disagreed with that policy. A lot right? of tanky say but at the end real. of the day, though, that's not the primary contradiction. The primary contradiction is U.S. imperialism. That's not true. Imperialism, imperialism is you know, not the is. primary contradiction in China. I, I am an American citizen. Yes. What I care about is tearing apart the U.S. imperialist state. Right? So why does Chinese policy matter to me? Why does because we're having an argument about unless, Chinese policy? Unless China's policies specifically are damaging specifically. U.S. Uh, anti-imperialists and their ability to overthrow, they are because China is an imperialist system. country. No, no, that's incorrect. No, China is actually benefiting us by splitting up uh, the unipolar. What are you? Have you seen any of the analysis world. of African communist parties and what they believe about China's neo-colonialist practices? I think that they're irrelevant because you they think don't that African communists are irrelevant. Yes. Yeah. If if the African communists are. He, he doesn't believe that. It, it, OK, he'll say, no, China isn't doing imperialism in Africa. And then she'll give examples of how China is doing imperialism in Africa. And he'll say, no, that's actually China providing aid to Africa and improving their economy and building them up. And it's like, OK, so you admit that's real. So let's talk about what. African communist parties think of that. No, they're irrelevant. That's how this is going to go. Guarantee it. Guarantee it's how that's going to go. Siding uh, against China, siding against Russia, siding against the multipolar world, and siding with the unipolar world, they are my enemy. I don't care if you call yourself a communist, it's irrelevant. There's plenty of people in the United States and other Western so wait, countries that call African themselves communists. communists are your they're enemy. my enemy too. Anyone who is not fighting effectively against the u.s and because you don't read war. lenin my enemy and if you read lenin you would understand Anyone, how china I is an imperialist country on lenin. i have expended on lenin lenin is not marxism is doesn't remain the same okay okay you As don't even know by, when i was trying to proven, when proven i showed you lenin, that the primary the contradiction in china apple, is not apple, imperialism apple, you just apple, said apple. why does it matter you fucking tos this is crazy dude you actually saying. can't have a I'm conversation about theory you, you have you to go back TOS. to trans issues because it's no, an easy to, win for you don't shut the fuck up if you don't shut the fuck up it's not even a win is it i have been so nice to you this entire time me i don't want you to be nice to me i want you to be rude i want you to be who you fucking actually are i don't what do you mean who i actually am i'm trying to have this debate with you you actually are you also you advocate for the lgbtq cia agenda you are my enemy and it doesn't matter what you fucking say it doesn't matter so you don't think china's relevant thank god this guy is like stupid and insane enough to go mask off with what all these conservatives believe and just say it by the way this is what matt walsh and like every other conservative means when they talk about trans people they they want to kill you for as long as you advocate for the lgbtq cia agenda i don't care the fact that you're trans okay you there actually do people, there's you really do people, and you're a bad trans person is what it gets down to that's true i am very much a bad trans person times, however would you like to actually how many times does he switch between hating trans and gay people to there being some okay trans and gay people
up in the discussion about Chinese choice. politics. You switch back and forth like four times. You advocate for this shit because you're All right, this is irrelevant to the population. arguments you were making about China. You know, to and I would kindly population. like you to get back onto the topic at hand. Population. I'd love to. Shut the fuck up and let me speak. And then you will be spoke. You will be allowed to spoke or speak when I fucking tell you oh, you're allowed to speak. Yeah. Oh, fuck, I'm getting so horny. He's a fucking Redditor. Oh, my God. He's talking like it is to, he does to his Discord kittens. Oh, my God. Oh my god, it's like he, he he wishes he had Discord kittens. I always thought a really good prank to pull on a conservative, like, figure like this guy would be to, like, start the debate with the guy and be like, Hey man, so a uh, friend of mine swiped your SD card the other day. Yeah, sent it to me. Found some stuff on there. Now we can bring this conversation to into private, or I can just show what I found and bring it up. Uh, bring it up on uh, on sc screen to show stream. I had to censor it, but you know I can do that and see what their reaction is. That would be the prank: is see what their reaction is to me saying that with a dead fucking like I'm Chris Hansen, dead fucking eyed, dead face. Just, like, make it look like I have something I'm about to expose unless they come into, like, a private call, like, private with me. And if they start freaking out and ask to go into a private call, then it's like, whoa, I was kidding. Wait, what do you have to hide, bro? What's on your SD card, dude? Wait, 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 you were worried. What is going on, man? What, what, do you, what were you worried about me showing, dude? Yeah, I was just joking. That would go so fucking hard, dude. That is a prank, that is a prank I came up with when I was, like, washing my hair in the shower like a month ago and i've i've been thinking about that for a while now because so many of these conservative figures end up being pedophiles you know they've got shit on their on their stuff so like what if you just really effectively and believably bluffed that you had access to something on their computer and you were going to show it unless they did something and then they freak out and do it and you're like whoa i was just kidding what did you think i had like, that would be, oh my god, that would go so hard. That would go so hard. Thank you, Daddy. I'll shut up. Of course you fucking people just always fucking go right back to the degeneracy. Fucking weirdo. You're the one who's Anyhow. being all horny up in here. I didn't do shit. The fuck are you talking about, you fucking weirdo? I'm fucking talking, and then you're fucking trying to turn it into some sort of sexual kink. Because you're a fucking porn adult degenerate. But that's fucking besides the point. You just that's, can't help yourself. That's true. So, like, now, why did you get so aggressive said, when I was talking about what the primary contradiction like you're is? you fucking sexually assault me. Instead of you're trying to fucking sexually assault me with your fucking, you know, fucking TOS shit right now, okay? Life. Let's actually fucking talk about what I'm actually trying to talk about here, okay? The fucking system that exists right now, Yes. No longer this guy's definitely a chaser. He cannot help but make this conversation about sex. With Keffels. He he literally like he's he's a chaser. He's a hundred percent a chaser. Here, let me show you an example of like a piece of evidence of how big of chasers um transphobes are, okay? I watch a podcast. I've shown this clip on stream before, you guys loved it. I watch a podcast, certainly not for the political takes they have on there, trust me. Uh on the uh uh, uh, called PKA, all right? And uh, they have some pretty cringe takes politically, okay? They have some pretty cringe political takes. Here's the thing, though. Finster was like a longtime PKA fan from like back in the day and decided that he was going to go on to PKA because he's got like prominence now and stuff and just kind of go on there. And by being, like, obviously it's a cool moment for him and stuff, but I have a feeling he wanted to kind of, like, exist there as a troll a little bit. And Kyle, a.k.a. FPS Russia, who is probably the most transphobic person on that podcast. Let me just, uh, let me show you this <laughs> clip. It's called 14 Minutes of Kyle Flirting with Finster, okay? This is every transphobe, okay? When they're put in a situation where they have to talk to a trans person, but, uh... They have to be polite, okay? Uh, yeah, I uh, I worry about all that. Now, I am vaccinated and boosted, in case anyone wants to know. So yeah, if I get it... I don't want to see I could just sit here doing this. Yeah, <laughs> I could my camera. fucking pop them. Let's go. Yeah, like that whole, like, elbow trick thing uh -huh. completely yeah. works. Man. Nah, He's well. not a slut.
<laughs> I am. <laughs> yeah, he is. Yeah, like the definition of a... This, yeah. this is... <laughs> to uh, save the mother. To save the mom, or they've gotten some horrible medical news about this baby. Yeah, that be like a stillbirth okay. or something. Or it's that... going to like be born with its heart on the outside with no eyes or something. Yep, yep. And, and you know, and this is a kid, it, it, like I said, seven, eight months in, they were very much looking forward <laughs> to little baby. And uh, so anyway, the whole third trimester argument against abortion, <laughs> they, I feel like they misrepresent their side when they do mm -hmm. it. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh... <laughs> like Kyle's just staring at Finster, and Finster's just like, "What the fucking?" Yeah, Lazarus Finster's over Finster's over there covering up under Kyle's <laughs> under Kyle's uh, chauvinist gaze. <laughs> I don't think anyone spotted it when I went like this. You can kind of get what I mean when I did this. You see what I mean? I see it. Yeah, yeah, that's what it looks like go. all the yeah. time when I was talking about that trick. All the hosts are transphobic, by the way. But I'd say Kyle's probably the most transphobic of them in regards to like the things he said. Yeah, mush them mm. together. Mm. Mush them together. <laughs> <laughs> God, that's so unsexy. I think. <laughs> Did uh, it started on the nipple area and like grew out from there, and <laughs> I I I hated that look because I just had that like middle tuft here and then just hairy ass nipples and then like enough hair around it to be noticeable. And I remember once in the bathroom, like before school, it was like swimming in gym or something, and I was like shaving around my nipples. And it yep. wasn't until after I did it that like mm. I was like, this is. What this is the worst look you can imagine? <laughs> really? Two perfectly <laughs> clean yes. areas. Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> several times. Because I had other, 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 other hair. It's other just hair. targets. Yeah. You, you, you underestimate okay. how light your skin gets when there's no hair on it. I guarantee oh, yeah. you saw that with your legs. Just I was targets. really shocked how like bright they look. I mean, no, because I, I shave my nipples too. I, I, any, anywhere I want a girl's mouth to go, that, that's getting shaved. <laughs> <laughs> there's gotta be. Like a thousand people Fair, though. that like would look far better than me, or like tens of thousands, be millions in the world. Look. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Oh, you know, you're, the, you're the, the like... hottest one here. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> my ego. Um, how, how much of a donation are we going to need for you to get actual breast implants? I think that's what everyone wants to know. I've said how much it would be. <laughs> I think it, I, uh, the number changes all the time, um, but it depends how long they be for. Because there's everyone's got a number for like how long Until for a like year. Finish. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, I I just I need you guys to know that all transphobes for the most part are chasers. Okay. A lot of transphobia comes from, like, self-hatred for being attracted to trans people. But they're, like, they're goblins, okay? They're gawk goblins. I don't even like the term chaser. I want to I wanna make gawk goblin a thing, okay? I want that to be the word we use for chasers instead of uh, uh, chaser. Gawk goblin. The biggest transphobes are also the biggest gawk goblins, believe me. Every time. And you better believe, I bet TERFs, like lesbian TERFs, are massive, uh, are, are, are massive, uh, uh, bussy, what, what, what's a B, what's a word that starts with B that's like for a monster? Monster. Bussy beggars. Yeah, they're bussy beggars. Bussy bandits. Thank you. How do you spell that? G-O-C-K. Gok Goblin. Yes, thank you. Very good. <laughs>